Hi friends, welcome to webcam. Uh, here in this video, I'm going to discuss exist operator in SQL. Then I will discuss all operator. And then I will discuss any operator in SQL. So I will discuss in detail how we can use this and why or where we can use all these three operators. So okay, basically this is these operators are used to check the result of sub queries. And based on that, we can uh, apply the filter. Okay. So uh, all these three operators exist all at any operator must be used with a where clause. Okay. How to use, we will see, or what is sub query. I already discussed again. I will discuss a query inside a query is called sub query. Suppose if I want wants to find okay suppose if i wanted to find the record from sales table i will say select star from sale this is what my expectation and i can see all these records okay it it fetches all four four five thousand rows are there okay and if i wanted to use the exist operator operator exist operator what what does what it does so basically it checks whether okay whether the sub query is true uh, is returning some records or not if it is not returning some record exist operator will uh, return false if sub query returns a single record it will return at least single record okay if sub query return at least single record it will return true and if it is true we will get this output if it if it is false we will not get anything uh, from this data okay so i will write sub query here in exist statement so i will say select okay star uh, from instead of star i will use single column value select star from sales from sales to right so we have don't I don't have sales to I have a sales to table right here I can see. So I would like to uh, see the records if there is a value for this column in sales to column then this uh, statement should get executed and it should return the result otherwise it is not going to return. And here I can see that yes it is going to return the record. If I fetch the data you can see that there is a values right there is a values so if the values are exist in sub queries sub query return a single record at least a single record this query is going to return entire records this query is going to return as per the query statement or filter right this is what the use of exist okay suppose if i say if i say select cells from cells to where where sales is greater than 11,000. If I put the condition like this, so if you see, there will not be any value in sales from this sub query. And in that case, if I try to execute this entire statement, you will not get nothing. Okay, you will not get anything. Why? Or you will get nothing, we can say. So why? Because there is no record. If there is no record for returned by sub query, exist operator will return false. Okay. So we can state uh, like this that exist operator operator return true if sub query sub query return at least single record okay and exist operator return false if sub query returns no record i can say like this okay so this will give you the clear idea what exist will do right and 
sometimes what you need to do you need to uh, check and compare okay sometimes you need to check and compare for this statement for sub queries so uh, exist will exactly perform the equals to okay exactly perform the equals to like uh, if this is true it will return true and when there is a true this will return the records so you, similarly what i can do i can uh, copy this and i will i will write this if where is equal to true all right if i write this you can see the output but if i write this false you cannot see the output and the same thing is happening with this statement same thing is happening with this statement okay uh, false is nothing but zero and uh, true is nothing but one if i try to execute this statement so here you can see that select and exist just i am checking whether this query is returning something or not this is what the use of exist and if it says zero that means this query is not going to return anything okay and if i say this is greater than this should be greater than 10000 there is a one record i need to remember and this will return a true so we can say that uh, true is nothing but a one okay and false is nothing but zero in sql right so this is what all about exist statement suppose sometime what you need to do you need to uh, get the result from sub query and based on that result you uh, you would like to apply the filter using logical operator as like we use and operator okay and as like we use or operator in sql so these are the logical operators and and or i already discussed in my previous one of the video so now when to use all or when to use or okay so uh, and and all both these sorry all and any both these operators are used with condition operators so conditional operators we have seen that is equal to not is equal to greater than greater than or equal to then less than comma less than or equal to so we have these operators and we are supposed to use these operators with all or any operator so why i have written and and or you will get to know in few minutes okay so <clears throat> Suppose I have a query like this and I would like to filter the record from uh, another table. I would like to filter the record from another table. Okay. Based on another table's result set. So we can use that. Suppose if I say select all from sales where sales amount, right? I can say sales amount is equal to all i will use all and how this is going to work you can see that select star from okay select star from i will say cell two this is what my table this is what my second table and this table okay uh, from this table what values we are checking here we are checking for sales so instead of pulling all the records i will say sales sales from sales two so it will give me or it will fetch the only one record. Okay. And uh, I would like to know the values. Okay. What are the values we have? So suppose if I put the filter, if I put the filter for in the sub query stating that if sales is greater than 9,000. Okay. This is how I have created a sub query. What this is going to do. Okay. What this is going to do. So this sub query is going to return me these three records these three records okay these three records and what all operator will do it will compare all operator will compare the values of sales from this sale table with each of these value with each of these values 
with each of these values and by using and operator so if i try to return this we will not get anything if we try to why suppose suppose i will write the same query in another way okay using and operator as i said all operator uses and operator for the comparison where sales is equal to what all three values we were getting so i will uh, see that and i will add these values here sale is equal to 50 and sales is equal to 9893 and sales is equal to 9100 so this query internally this query okay this query is uh, getting modified like this and if i try to execute this we will not get anything why because there is and operator right and what and operator is going to do so basically it is going to give us okay result if all these three conditions are true and as we know that we don't have value multiple values for single record right so either we can have this value or we can have this value or we can have this value yes so this is possible with or operator but this is not possible with and operator that's why we are not getting any any of the records so instead of this if we change this okay if sales is greater than all so we can try but no this is not going to work at all right because sales it will modify this query like this sales is greater than sales is greater than sales is greater than so this is how it is going to work and this is not going to help us at all okay if this returns a single value if this returns a single value then it is possible then it is possible okay suppose if i put this is equal to sign and here instead of only sales i will say max of max value of sales and i don't want a filter okay or filter will work and if i try to execute okay 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 something is happening something is wrong yes and this give me okay this statement gives me a uh, the single result what will do it will execute this statement right it will execute it will return 10500 as a maximum value from second table right and it will compare with sales value like this like this okay and my query gets terminated here right and this is what possible this is what going to give me the record the same record with value called sales is equal to 10500 and if i execute this yes it is going to give me the value with uh sales amount 10500 because this table second or sub query is going to give me the result of 10500 that's why we are able to get the output but if we have multiple values not possible but yes this is possible using another operator called any operator okay any operator uses or condition any operator uses or condition and if i suppose if i copy this okay suppose if i copy this instead of completing this i will use instead of and we are supposed to use or right and as we know that if we pass this condition if we execute this condition definitely we are able to get the record for three values why because yes either this value if this condition is true we are able to get the result if this condition is true we are able to get the result if this condition is true we are able to get the result and this is how we can get all these three records and the same thing is happening by using any operator if i execute this we will get the result okay 
uh, as since I used the max instead of max, I suppose to get max multiple values by using this sub query. And if I execute this, you can see that same result we are able to get for 10,000, uh, 9893 and 9100. So this is how and any and exist operator works in SQL. All the three operators are used to check the result of sub query on, on the basis of that it will perform the filter operation. Okay, I hope this makes sense to you. Thank you so much for watching the video. Have a nice day. Do not forget to subscribe to web channel.